Hi, in this video training, we will be learning about random numbers in NumPy. So what is a random number? A random number does not mean a different number every time. Random means something that cannot be predicted logically. Let's look at our first example. NumPy offers the random module to work with random numbers. So let's generate a random integer from 0 to 100. Let's create a project file python numpy random numbers and data distribution dot py. Okay. So first of all, let's import the numpy library x equals random dot ran int and red print x save the file go to the console run the program python python numpy redder Oh, okay, I forgot to add np at the start np.random.rand int 100. Save the file. Now run the program again. And you see we have got 7. Let's run the program a couple of times. We got 36. We got 46. So every time we are getting a random number from 0 and 200. Okay, let's generate a float number, random float. The random modules rand method returns a random float between 0 and 1. Generate a random float from 0 to 1. We use the same program. And this time we don't need to give any number as a parameter. I'll just add a comment here. Generate a random number between 1 and 100 let me say random integer okay i'll copy this paste it here and comment it here okay generate a float between 0 and 1 so this time we need don't need to give ran int we just say ran and exclude the 100 from as a parameter run the program you see we have got a floating number this time between 0 and 1 ok integers the rand int method takes a size parameter where you can specify the shape of an array let's generate a 1d array containing 5 random integers from 0 to 100 ok let's copy this program and comment this out generate a random integer generate 5 sorry generate a 1d array with 5 random integers from between 0 and 100 ok board numpy and random integer this time we are going to add extra parameter of size and pass in 5. Let's go to the console, run the program. Okay, we need to add equal here. Go to the console, run the program again. You see we have got a 1D array with 5 random numbers between 0 and 100. Okay. <coughs> the choice method allows you to generate a random value based on an array of values. The choice method takes an array as a parameter and randomly returns one of the values. So let's write a program to return one of the values in an array. Need to copy this. Okay, comment this out and return return a value from array of given numbers. Okay. ok. 
Okay, this time we are going to use the choice method and we are going to pass an array of four elements, four different elements. Let's run the program. This time you see we got nine. Now we got three. Now we got three again. Now we got nine. So basically it's returning random values from between these four numbers. And that's what the choice method does. The choice method allows also allows you to return an array of values. So add a size parameter to specify the shape of the array. <coughs> Let's see this in action if we can do this here. 5 on the program. Okay, you see we have got a 5 random numbers from the choice method using the size parameter. Okay, the next thing is random data distribution. So what is data distribution? Data distribution is a list of all possible values and how often each value occurs. Such lists are important when working with statistics and data science. The random module offers methods that returns randomly generated data distributions. Random distribution. A random distribution is a set of random numbers that can follow a certain probability density function. Probability density function. A function that describes a continuous probability that is probability of all values in an array. We can generate random numbers based on defined probabilities using the choice method of the random module. The choice method allows us to specify the probability for each value. The probability is set by a number between 0 and 1 where 0 means that the value will never occur. 1 means that the value will occur, will always occur. So let's see an example. Let's generate a 1D array containing 100 values where each value has to be 3, 5 or 7, 3, 5, 7 or 9. So the probability of the value to be 3 is set to be 0 0.1. The probability of the value to be 5 is 0 0.3. Probability of value 7 is set to be 0 0.6 and the probability of value 9 is to be set 0. So let's do this and let me comment this out okay copy this comment this out and so data distribution and dot choice 357 and we are going to pass and parameter 0 0.1 0 0.3 0 0.6 and 0 0.0 and give it a size of 100 save the file go to the console run the program so you can see we have returned 100 values randomly and it does not include number 9 because we set the probability to 0 for number 9. So that's how random data distribution works with NumPy. The sum of all probability numbers should be 1. Even if you run the example above 100 times the value 9 will never occur. You can return arrays of any shape and size by specifying the shape in the size parameter same examples as above but return a 2d array with three rows each containing five values so let's change the size and give it an extra parameter of row save the file go to the console run the program you see we this time we have got three rows and a 2d array Let's look at random permutations, random permutations of elements. A permutation refers to an arrangement of elements. For example, 3 to 1 is a list 
and it is a permutation of 1, 2, 3 and vice versa. The NumPy random module provides two methods for this. One is shuffle and the other one is permutation. Okay, let's look at shuffling arrays. Shuffle means changing arrangement of elements in place. That is in the array itself. Randomly shuffle elements of following array. Let's look this in practical. Okay, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to comment this out. And shuffling arrays. And to say create a simple numpy array and then use the shuffle function. Now go to the console, run the program. You see the shuffle function have shuffled the array values and their order. So the five comes five and six comes at number two, uh, number index one and index two. So that's what the shuffle method does. Okay, let's generate a random permutation of elements in the following array. Okay, I'm going to use the function permutation here to see how it works. Let's copy this and comment this out and using permutation this time we have five elements and random dot permutation okay, going to print it directly okay and we don't need this save the file go to the console see we have got one two four three five instead of one two three four five run the program this time we have a different result so that's how the permutation of arrays work in python numpy i hope that you have learned about python numpy random arrays data distribution and permutation of arrays and the shuffle function as well if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time with a new topic in python numpy